Hi everyone, welcome back to Tree Loves to Resale. I am Teresa and I thought that today I would do a little bit of a different kind of video. I usually do a lot of um, thrift hauls and ship with me's and today I thought that I would open a flip box that I have. Yes, you heard it right. I joined um, Flip as a um, pro seller, I believe is what they call it, to get inventory to list for other people. And I thought I would do this just to try it out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not. Um, we'll see. So I'm gonna open that box. And then also I thought I would go ahead and talk about a topic that um, everybody keeps uh, kind of talking about. We keep seeing it and hearing it. And I've been kind of silent about my opinions. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and throw it out there. What I think about whatnot. Will I sell on whatnot? Do I buy on whatnot? And what are my overall opinions? Well, first off, I thought that this would be interesting because I have listened to other videos of people talking about whatnot. And it was interesting, other people's opinions. So I thought that I might as well join the club and throw mine out there. So basically, my thoughts is this. I don't think I will be selling on whatnot or any live auction sites actually because the reason I got into reselling was because I liked the idea of being able to do it when I wanted to adjust my schedule to do it at night when my daughter goes to bed to do it in the morning when I can't sleep uh, on the weekends when I'm bored all of those things so why would I want to then have to schedule a show and something come up and then me not be able to do it and then have to cancel it. That's not professional. Uh, that's just one reason. All the prep work, you still have to do all the work. And then you're selling yourself for less. That I don't understand. I don't understand that concept. I don't understand why I would go out and do a thrift and spend my time buying things to come home and sell it for what I paid. I'm not doing this just for, I don't know, for nothing. Um, I'm doing this actually to make extra money, to help pay my bills, to help pay my family, that sort of thing. So I guess I, I don't really understand the concept of not making any money. If I was gonna do that, I would just continue to donate, which I already do. So I don't understand that piece of it. And then building a business or building your your followers and all that. I don't know. I don't want to do another social media platform. If I wanted to do that, I would just put my time into Poshmark that I'm already selling on or eBay or I don't know. I just, I just don't understand it as a seller. Now, as a buyer, I have bought several things on there. I have bought, um, quite honestly... I don't really personally think that it's good for inventory because the stuff that I could resell to make money on, it's not like I'm getting that stuff for oh so cheap. Um, I have purchased a couple dresses on there to resell and honestly, my margins were actually smaller. My profit margins were less than what if I were going out and thrifting. So I don't understand that either. Now for me, myself, I have bought a lot of cute um, DIY custom t-shirts on there that I absolutely love. I have bought items for my daughter that she loves. So if you want to go on and buy something for yourself or for someone else, I think it's great. Regardless of what the price is because you're gonna pay what you wanna pay if you don't think the price is too much. If you think the price is too much, then you're not gonna buy it. So for me, as a buyer, I think it's great for myself and my family and my friends, etc. To do inventory buying on there, I've tried it. I've bought a couple boxes of, of bundles or pallets, um, you know, bundles to get better shipping price. And honestly, the, the inventory I bought was not anything better than what I can find. And I paid a lot more. So I don't see that being a great sourcing opportunity. And um, I, the other thing that really irritates me is 
all the notifications that I get. I have my notifications on, obviously, because in the beginning, I wanted to find out how the app worked. So I follow all these people, and now I'm getting all these notifications. And the other thing that I don't like about the app is when you open the app and you swipe up, I have an iPhone, and I swipe up, it's the, the video starts playing and, and it's very hard for me to get the video off even when I swipe out of the app. Obviously now maybe I'm doing something wrong, I'm not the best, but it it's kind of wonky, the app is wonky. Um, and that's annoying to me and I don't have a lot of patience. So for me, I just prefer Steady Eddie. I just prefer selling on eBay, Poshmark. I've gotten used to their issues selling on Poshmark, and plus with all the changes they've made, I think it's a better app. So for me, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I'm not gonna add another platform that I have to learn, and you know, I'm not one of those people that want to try everything. Um, I just wanna streamline, get my processes in place, and work like a well-oiled machine. So that's kinda how I feel. Now maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. I'm interested to hear what you think what you, um, what your opinions are. Tell me in the comments. Now, for the best part, <laughs> or, the, or the part that I like is opening inventory. Now, I bought the, I bought, um, I, I got two different lots that are coming. One person hasn't even, like, told me what was going on. The other person has. Um, I can tell that I'm, I'm pretty like, when I say I'm going to do something, I do it and I don't procrastinate. So that's going to be interesting to see how that flies. Now, I'm not going to obviously uh, tell who my customer is or any of that. Um, I don't even remember. I'm going to open it up and I'll remember when I see it. So here's the box. Um, again, like I said, I don't remember. I, had, I, I got matched with two people. And I think this is the smaller batch. Now, I do plan on getting this stuff up quickly. Um, okay, so this is how the box is. Eh, whatever. This is, this is how she's got it all in there. She's just got it thrown in there. Everything is just thrown in there. I'm going to go through it and make sure that it's all like what it's supposed to be. And then go from there and then I'll open up the app and see what the app says now um this was a I like J Crew. this is a really cute J Crew blouse um extra large it's kind of like a um it's got like the pencil um ruffle on the bottom zip up back um I think I can sell this now I did write down um so if you're not familiar with flip what happens is is once you get matched um, in that process, right before that, they send, when when Flip says, okay, we think you might be good with this person, send the estimates. I wondered how that was going to work. The estimates, you, you, you write up the estimates, what you think that you can sell the items for line by line. And it's really fast. I thought, oh gosh, is this going to be hard? No, it wasn't. It was really fast. I wrote them down on something. And let me see if I can find where I put them. I put them in my my everyday calendar. This is my stack of stuff. Um, so let me see. I put them in here so I would know what the estimates were without having to go back and look. So, okay. I'm not sure how much I said that I could get for this top. Honestly, I'm just not sure. I, I don't have, it was the other account the other set of products. Uh, another item is a Madewell extra small like sweatshirt. Okay. Next item is a thermal Madewell like thermal size medium. It's fine. Yeah, these are all in fine condition. Next item is a soft surroundings kind of stretchy tunic. Next item, and this is the last item. So this was a small batch. And this is a Madewell medium, kind of like a t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. 
So as you can see, I don't know. They kind of, I don't know if it's, I don't know. They got an odor to it. I don't know if it's the box or what. But as you can see, there's tops. I list a lot of tops. So it's three, four, five, five tops. I should be able to list those pretty quickly. It takes me with photographing and everything. It doesn't take me long. I should be able to get all of that done in less than an hour with photos, listing, everything. So that's that. They do look fine. They look, I didn't really look at all the condition, but I do believe that they're in, in decent condition. And I will get those photographed and I will, I don't, I'm assuming that when I go into the app, I can just like check them in and, um, I will do that quickly and that'll be that. So that's how that works. I don't think that there's anything else that I need to tell you about Flip, but if you're not familiar with it, I suggest just downloading the app, um, going on and looking at the process. They, do they drop lots every day, Monday through Friday, and, um, and just kind of walking through it. It's very easy, the app's very friendly. I don't think you'll have a problem, I didn't, and I'm pretty simple. So, I will come back and fill you guys in on what sells. Or you can also follow me on Instagram. I will also, um, I also post there. So, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. And um, as always, consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up. It does help. Thank you, bye.